2024 is shaping up to be a pivotal year for RTS games. We have new games like Stormgate, Zero Space, and Tempest Rising on the horizon, but we also have old favorites such as Age of Empires 4 getting their new expansion The Sultans Expand, and the StarCraft franchise turning 25 years old in the year 2023. With all the news and hype trains coming up, I thought it'd be good to take a step back and reflect on the past year, so I asked a couple RTS community members and developers on what they were looking forward to and their thoughts on RTS as a whole coming into the new year. Hey, what's up? I think the soul of the question here is going to be about um, looking into the future New Year's resolutions and uh, the way the question is phrased, it's offering ints on different levels. Right. Um, I think that 2024 looks very exciting for RTS as a genre. The recent past is fertile grounds. There are giants in the past also, um, like Common and Conquer and AOE and StarCraft 2 that have, you know, always been a, a very strong foundation or StarCraft uh, Brood War for that matter, and, and the Warcrafts and Blizzard RTS and uh, what have you, right? Like there's there's a lot of really strong, rich history in RTS. There's also kind of like a resurgence uh, thirst that has been gathering and has um, and, and has kind of like is beginning to manifest to sprout. It's very it's it's a very exciting time in the sense that many people are kind of synced timeline wise around this sort of renaissance of sorts. For RTS, so it is a good time to be excited about it. Um, there is a saying that all oh, uh, rising tide lifts all boats, right? And I believe that to be true because basically, there's as as these games exist uh, adjacent to each other, right? Interlinked in a way where, well, where, where where this video is happening, for instance, right? Where I am talking to you and and uh, and you're on the other side of the screen because you're an RTS fan, right? <laughs> like I guess this video is evidence. Of, uh, of what I'm saying. So there is a cross uh, fertilizing that happens, right? There is a, a, a an effort that can be concerted from all participants to advance the RTS genre. In terms of Zero Space as, a, as an entity, as a game, I am very proud of our product, very excited for uh, to, to continue to work on it. I think that uh, reception wise, we are extremely happy uh, and humbled really but sharing it is always a little bit scary and now that we, we've gotten to share it and and you know we've continued to get just insanely good reviews from from the hardcore community from professional players from uh, content creators and whatnot and that is kind of like the best endorsement that we could never hope for and um, that's zero space myself as an individual obviously very excited about all, all of this extremely busy all the time um, but it's good busy. I haven't been this busy in a very, very long time. And, you know, um, it, it's been a long time coming for me. So I am uh, overwhelmed always with uh, with emotion, with uh, passion, um, but always, yeah, it's also very tired. <laughs> so, uh, you know, fighting and uh, and, and trying to, uh, to do the, the best that I can on, on my own to make my project um, and my friend's project uh, successful here. So that's the, that's the dream, that's the goal, and yeah. Hi, my name's Isaac Fox, better known as Panda Bear Me, if you used to watch competitive StarCraft back in the day in late hots, early legacy. My personal New Year's resolution has a lot to do with what I've been doing lately, um, which is making videos. I just released a video in late 2023 about Jadong kind of goes over his life and then focuses heavily on 2013 which is kind of the beginning of his circa 2 career and the the ups and downs and kind of how he slowly changes his priorities as he as he matures as a player and uh, it was super exciting and a lot of Jadong fans even told me like wow I, I love Jadong but I didn't even know that about him and it kind of blew me away um, so I kind of realized that this is something I have to do and I uh, that kind of ties into my New Year's resolution which is going to be making more videos. Uh, expect more videos about players, teams, events, hopefully about your favorites and um, yeah be prepared to learn a lot because there's a lot of things that 
even the most popular players, most people don't know about. And uh, I just kind of want to unearth all these stories and really immortalize them for the RTS community because I think they're pretty special. Um, as far as what I'm looking forward to this year, um, all these new RTS games are absolutely exciting. Stormgate, Zero Space, uh, Gates of Pyre. But the thing I'm looking forward to the most is the units themselves and how they move and interact and how it is to play with and how it is to play against. Um, I think that's the most important thing in a game is just having really cool units that even if you lose the game, you're like, hell yeah, I got to make that unit, you know? And I just did the thing, whatever that unit does. And I don't know. When I first started playing Circuit 2, that's what it was all about. I make the Nidus Worm, you know? I did the Bane Link bust, and uh, it was just so fun. So, whenever I play a new RTS game, I'm always looking out for my new unit, my new favorite guy, my new favorite mechanic, whatever. And uh, that's absolutely what I'm going to be looking forward to in 2024. Have a good one. Hey, uh, so for 2024, I think it's going to be a really interesting year for RTS. And I think one thing that I would love to see from the community come together on a little bit more is just embracing the idea that you don't have to be the best to have fun. I know that there is this hyper focus, especially with StarCraft 2, and I'm sure it's going to continue with Stormgate and Zero Space and all the other RTS games that are potentially going to be coming out this year and in the future. But there is this focus that you need to improve. The way that you play StarCraft 2 is that you're playing and you're improving. If you're not improving, what are you even doing? How are you even having fun? Why would this even be fun to do the same strategy, the same MMR over and over and over again? And I really wish that the community would be able to come together and also just collectively enjoy the fact that, yeah, you could just have fun playing the game. And maybe there's a strategy or a style or something you just enjoy doing. It's not about doing it to improve and to get better, and I think that there are a lot of people who do enjoy that process, but I'd love to see more of an embracing from the community of just having fun, for the sake of having fun. You know, back when we were in elementary school or whatever, you know, for me playing Super Smash Brothers and GoldenEye, yeah, of course I was competitive with my friends and I like to try and be better than them at whatever games you we were playing, but it, my focus wasn't, I'm gonna get so much better and practice and train and think about, reflect on every single loss of why I lost and improve. It was just, I was just having fun. It was just a really, really fun time. I think we're starting to lose a bit of that in RTS. I think we've been losing it for a long time. And for 2024, I really hope the community can buckle down a little bit, especially with all the new RTS games coming out and just say, yeah, you know what? Screw getting better. I'm just gonna have fun with this game. So that's what I wanna see from you guys. Thanks. As for me, in 2023, I only posted three real videos, and as much as I love making the well-edited uh, video essays that expand on really weird topics, uh, I want to try and scale back my content and just really try and put more things out there. I also want to fulfill my longtime wish of seeing a StarCraft Premier Tournament Finals in person one day. I already have a lot of things planned for 2024, and I hope you all will stay tuned. So what sort of resolutions do you have for RTS games in 2024? Let me know down in the comments below. And whether you're sweating hard for that new rank, or you're just kind of looking forward to a new game to sink your teeth into, always remember, good luck, and have fun out there. <laughs>